harrowing new details have emerged concerning the final months in the life of a 14-year-old Georgia girl who was found buried in her family's yard last year, including allegations that she was starved and kept in a dog cage. Mary Crocker's father, Elwyn Crocker Sr., his wife, brother-in-law, mother-in-law and mother-in-law's boyfriend last month were charged with felony murder stemming from the girl's death, as well as cruelty to children. During a hearing in Effingham County Superior Court on Tuesday, a detective testified that the 14-year-old Mary was kept in a cage that was positioned in the kitchen of her family's double-wide trailer outside Savannah. As a result of her prolonged confinement, the girl's gaunt body contorted to fit the small enclosure until her joints became swollen, reported WSB-TV. Sheriff's investigator Abby Brown told the court that all five family members charged in Mary's death took part in abusing the girl. According to Brown's testimony, the emaciated child was beaten, starved and given foul-smelling food as punishment for refusing to do house chores, failing to exercise and stealing food. Mary died back in October 2018, but her body was not found until December, when police acting on an anonymous tip went to the family's property in Guyton and discovered the 14-year-old's body buried in a muddy soil in the backyard. Also unearthed during the search was the corpse of Mary's older brother, Elwyn Crocker Jr., 14, who hadn't been seen since November 2016. Authorities said the deceased boy was also apparently abused, but so far, none of the relatives has been charged in connection to his death. The Crocker's youngest child, an 11-year-old boy with cerebral palsy, has been placed in foster care in the wake of his father and stepmother's arrests, as Savannah Morning News reported. Tuesday's hearing ended with two of the five suspects, Crocker Sr., 50, and his brother-in-law, 31-year-old Mark Wright, being denied bond and having their cases turned over to a grand jury, according to a WSAV report. According to investigators, Crocker Sr. has admitted to abusing his daughter but claimed that he was acting on the orders of his wife, Candace, and her mother, Kim Wright. Meanwhile, Mark Wright's attorney said the man maintains his innocence. Candace Crocker, 33, Kim Wright, 50, and Kim's boyfriend, Roy Prater, 55, remain jailed without bond on Tuesday. Both Mary and Elwin Jr. were last enrolled at schools in the county during their sixth grade year. Mary last attended school during the 2017 2018 year, whereas her brother last attended in 2014 before being withdrawn. It's believed that a number of reports of potential abuse towards the children had previously been filed to the Georgia Department of Family and Children's Services.
Local police previously said they were familiar with the family's troubled past. In 2012 and 2013, Elwin Sr. and Candace Crocker took mandatory counseling and parenting classes with Georgia Child Services following allegations Jr. had been abused. According to counselors, Crocker seemed an apathetic father, telling them the state only required him to feed, clothe and give shelter to his children nothing more. Elwin Jr. had also allegedly been beaten by his step-uncle, Mark Wright, in June 2012. Wright was later found to have backhanded the child after a Goodwill worker spotted a bruise on Jr.'s face and called police. A classmate and neighbor of the would-be 16-year-old also told school counselors how she'd witnessed Junior's step-grandmother, Kim Wright, whip him for more than an hour with a belt. It's unknown whether the boy was alive when the allegation was made in March 2017, 